If you're wanting your wheels to stick out like this, but you don't want to spend your money on a whole new set of wheels, then wheel spacers are probably what you guys are looking for. Wheel spacers are an inexpensive way to add offset to your vehicle's wheels to get that more aggressive and wider stance that a lot of people look for in a truck. The reason why wheel spacers have become so popular is because it gives people like me with a zero offset wheel or even a plus offset wheel the ability to push their wheel further away from the truck and get that aggressive stance. A set of wheel spacers only costs between $80 and $160 depending on the quality and brand that you go with. This is often a more desirable option for people that want to shell out thousands to thousands of dollars for a new set of wheels and tires. However, there is a lot of controversy out there on whether or not it's safe for the vehicle and yourself. So I'm going to dive into that in this video and give you guys my two cents on what I think about wheel spacers. My first vehicle was a Jeep that I put an inch and a half spacers on and I ran them for about 30,000 miles and never had a problem. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why I was able to go 30,000 miles on spacers without any problems and why I've gone 13,000 miles on the taco so far with no problems. I always get questions about it. I have an inch and a quarter spacers from Orion Motor Tech on the taco. I've gone with these spacers because not only the price is pretty inexpensive for the quality of materials that you get, but because they are hub centric. And this is the first big point that I have to talk about with spacers. So basically there's two different types of wheel spacers. There's hub centric and there's non hub centric. But the main difference between these two types of wheel spacers is the hub centric has the hub bore on the spacer, which is basically the lip around the spacer that your wheel sits onto and gives it a place to sit and grab onto. Whenever you go with a non hub centric wheel spacer, there's no place for the wheel to sit onto. There's no solid mounting point, which leads to a lot of problems with wheel spacers. And that's why the first thing you should always look for when buying wheel spacers is making sure that they are hub centric. Whenever installing wheel spacers, you want to make sure that you are using red Loctite. Red Loctite makes sure that the bolts are not going to vibrate loose while you're driving, which can cause problems down the line. You also want to make sure that you are torquing them down to factory spec. You can find a torque spec sheet for your vehicle, uh, including the Toyota Tacoma, of course, online, and you can know what foot pounds to torque your wheels to whenever you're installing the spacers. So this goes for the spacers onto the actual hub onto the truck, and it goes for putting your wheels on to the actual spacer itself. The most common problem with people installing wheel spacers is they will over tighten their bolts onto the spacer and it will just completely rip that stud off of the spacer um, which will cause of course your lug nuts to fall off while you're driving whether or not you know it or not and it leads to a lot of problems down the line staying in that same realm of making sure that you torque down your wheel spacers after you do the initial installation of them go back every couple hundred miles at least starting and retorquing them down to make sure that everything's secure uh, then after that, I personally, I retorque them every single time that I rotate my wheels just to make sure that they're always secured on there to what they're supposed to be and will hopefully keep me from ever having problems in the future. Mis a misconception about spacers is that adding spacers will cause strain on your drivetrain of your vehicle. This in a way is true, just like it would be if people are putting on negative 44, 14 wides on their truck. They're adding so much stress to the wheel hub and their CV actually they're putting stress on every part of their suspension, which is going to make their truck wear out faster. But come on guys, an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half, even two inches, that's not really gonna do a whole lot. Now I wouldn't go above two inches. Uh, now I wanna go above two inches personally. I think that's a little bit, you know, like risking it too much, but an inch and a half, inch and a quarter, go for it guys. It's totally worth it. Getting this more aggressive look on your truck is so much more worth it. And it is such an attitude change for your truck and just makes it look completely different, way more aggressive. And once I put 285s on this thing, it's going to look insane. Well guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. It's greatly appreciated. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. I think that we can get there. So with your guys' help, it's possible. Let's continue growing the channel. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.